is up everyone and welcome to a very special, special episode of Robitech. May the 4th be with you. And today we are celebrating probably one of the most epic builds I have ever had the privilege of being a part of. But before, before I get into it, guys, I gotta talk about this. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta introduce you through the parts because this build took over 150 hours of my time and a very special introduction to a new member of the Robitech team, Mike Romero, who helped build the incredible mask that I'm gonna show you a little bit later on. When you build a build this spectacular, you have to fill it with, with only the most premium parts and we spared no expense. These are the parts that would actually make the first order jealous that's how awesome they are. Let's, let's, let's walk through it, shall we? Real quick, I promise, we're gonna get to the build. First and foremost, powering this absolutely beast of machine is the Ryzen 9 3950X, the 16 core, 32 thread beast of a CPU. Sitting inside the X570 ROG Strix Gaming E motherboard. Absolutely love this motherboard, perfect amount of RGB, very, very aesthetically pleasing, and it's giving us that black and silver kind of look that we're going for when we're matching to a certain very special someone's helmet. Inside of this, it's all powered by the Corsair RMX 1000 watt PSU because when you're water cooling and you're making sure you're, you're using an absolutely beast of a graphics card like the ROG Strix 2080 Ti, you need to make sure that you have the absolutely most incredible amount of power to power this like you would power, say, you know, Starkiller Base. I talked about the graphics card, 2080 Ti, ROG Strix. Maybe you've heard of it, only probably one of the best graphics, if not the best 2080 Ti graphics card available on the market today. For speed and hard drives, of course, we had to use the Western Digital Black, black and white. Again, fitting the theme in terms of the M.2 SSDs capable of those 3.4 gigabits per second write speeds. We've also got our Corsair Dominator RAM because, you know, certain someone loves to dominate and we gotta make sure we have the RAM that dominates with it. And again, it's got that very Imperial-esque look. We talked about the aesthetics of the actual machine itself. And then of course, all of this inside of the new Rosewell Prism T case. If you look at the, uh, if you look on the front panels and you look on the side panels, you can see that it's got a very, I don't know, if you spend some time inside of, you know, certain star destroying-esque bases, you'll notice those little, uh, uh, like what do they look like, little oblong, squares and circle kind of things. It's got a very, very Imperial Asco. Looks absolutely perfect for what we're going to do here. And then of course, let's talk about the water cooling because we've got all of these absolutely incredible parts. And I, I think it's like, but when you're gonna do it, you have to use top of the line, incredible water cooling. And that's where Optimus Advanced Water Cooling comes in. And you know, it's funny, I've used a lot of things from like uh, Alpha Cool. I've used a lot from uh, EKB. I've used even the new parts from Corsair. And I have to say that Optimus's gasket style fittings have now become my new favorite in terms of the fitting standard that I like to use when I use hard tube water cooling in my builds. The other thing too is that I also have a reservoir from them and their CPU water block for the AM4 that absolutely look fantastic. Optimus is a basically a bunch of aerospace, I think rock, basically rocket scientists who got together and decided what if you had rocket scientists or aerospace scientists make amazing water cooled parts. And that's where Optimus came in. And these things are premium. And then finally, I had to throw in there like I, for my radiators, my overall lighting and everything else. We're of course using Corsairs. We're using their new Hydro X series radiators, both a 360 and a 240 millimeter rad. We've also using their Corsair Commander Pro because there's a myriad of ML120 fans that are in this to make the lighting look absolutely premium. And then of course we finish that all off with a set of their RGB strips. And again, I love their IQ software. I knew that I could really get the kind of lighting effects and everything that I wanted in that. And then of course I used, uh, I used some uh, thermal tape PETG tubing, which I, I love their stuff too. Let me just say that the build itself, when you get to take a look at it with all the water cooling and all the lighting and everything else came out perfect. But this, this is nothing because the next thing I wanna talk about is like, when you see the mask, and this mask is for a certain famous emo, person who lives in this universe, you know that you have to do something right. And especially given in the last movie, just how much happened to this individual, I had to call upon the skills of who I would consider a master model builder. Because I mean, the next, the last person who did a build in this universe was Jace Two Cents. And I don't know if you got to take a look at that, but it was an absolutely incredible build. So I just want to show you, like while I'm talking here for the last bit, we had Mike and myself, Mike spent almost a hundred hours replicating this mask to the very, 
essential details. It started with me and my amazing Dremel 3D printer that I have, and I spent 150 hours just printing the mask alone. Then from there, basically Mike took it, put it all together, puttied it smooth, he added all the cracks, he made it all smooth, he painted it, and then he added resin with LED strips, programmed the circuit board himself that has four individual modes, and then put that all together to make what is probably the best looking of these masks that I have seen to date. I know some people are probably looking at this going, man, what did you do, just buy a mask and throw it on the front of the case? Absolutely not. This whole thing, end to end, we're talking about, if you include 3D printing all up, like we talked about 150 hours of just building, if you include 3D printing, we're over 200 hours spent on this project in and of itself. But you know the best part about this whole thing is that you can win this build. Because not only is may the fourth be with us, may the fourth be with you because you or one lucky person like you could walk away with this incredible build thanks to the fine folks over at Newegg, Optimus, and then of course uh, all of our other sponsors like Asus, Corsair, and everybody else. Now is the time to introduce to you this very, very epic, epic build. May the fourth be with you. Was that not the most epic May the 4th build you've ever seen? I'm, I'm just curious because I've, I've taken a look at quite a few builds in this universe and I, I think that this is my favorite. And I know I may be personally biased, but do you wanna win it? Well then check in the description below because we have all the links for the giveaways right down there. I would love to hear your thoughts. What could we have done better? What did you think of the mask? What did you think of the lighting? And I wanna give a special a, a shout out again to Mike Romero for helping us build this absolutely incredible build. Um, obviously the entire team and all of the sponsors who did this. So make sure you so slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time that we go live here on Roby Tech. Also, make sure you check out our live show every Wednesday and Thursday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Wednesdays and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Thursdays where we do builds, we talk about tech deals, and we show you how to do it every week from beginning to end. Also, make sure you follow us on, over on all the socials. It's Robitech everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, slash Robitech, and over on Facebook at facebook.com slash Robitech. And finally, we have the most amazing community of tech individuals that you have ever met. So check the link in the description below for all the details on our Discord channel and coming and hanging out with us. Guys, I wanna say thank you so much for letting us indulge you and showing off this absolutely incredible work of art. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed building it because this was a very special build for us over here. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great night. And as always, may the fourth be with you.